Well, a patient getting the wrong medicine, a surgeon operating on the wrong body part. Medical mistakes are more common than you think, and according to a new study by Johns Hopkins researchers, those mistakes are now the third leading cause of death in the U.S. Dr. Marty McCary is a physician at Johns Hopkins, co-author of that study, and author of Unaccountable, a book about physician-led efforts to increase transparency and improve health care quality overall. Dr. McCary, these are stunning numbers, the third leading cause of death in the U.S.? Well, you know, John, the medical profession has matured in the scientific study of patient safety to recognize that people don't just die from bacteria and cancer. They also die from medical care having gone wrong. And in this study, we looked at all of the existing best data and extrapolated those numbers nationally. And it was clear that the point estimate is well above what the government is currently recording in our national health statistics as the number three cause of death making medical error in all of its forms the number three cause of death in the United States. And you have an argument with the Centers for Disease Control on how they tabulate some of these numbers. Well, there's a historic system we learned dating back to 1949 where they only tabulate causes of death with billing codes. Well, people don't just die from billing codes. People die from fragmented care and overdoses and other problems with medical mistakes. And if you look at the totality of the burden of these problems, it's well established in the science literature. No one's really placed the context in public health to say, hey, we should start measuring this and look how big the burden is on public health. You know, we do those stories from time to time that just seem so outrageous. A young girl goes in for a tonsillectomy and dies on the operating table, that kind of thing. But you're saying that, that those stories are far from an aberration. I mean, they're really, they really are more common than most of us would, would believe. Fragmented care, preventable complications, diagnostic errors we're now recognizing. These are, are all things that harm patients, and good solutions are out there. Many of us in the field of quality and safety apply for research grants, and we're told there's no funding. It's just not recognized as a priority. There are innovations that perfectly eliminate leaving sponges behind, for example. But adoption remains variable as we try to get some good science behind patient safety, like the science we have behind heart disease and cancer. We spend a lot of money on heart disease and cancer, the number one and two causes of death. It's time to start recognizing the third leading cause of death in the United States, medical care gone awry. So what do you say to patients who, who might hear this news and, and say, okay, I'm staying out of the hospital or out of my doctor's office? Well, <laughs> how, what are people supposed to do? Well, doctors are frustrated, too. We're working in a messy system, and we're human, and we're always going to be human. But what we've noticed is the patients that get the best care, John, are those that are highly informed, get second opinions, ask about treatment alternatives, and come in with a loved one or family member, either to the doctor's visit or in their hospital room, to be a safety net to make sure everything's going smoothly and is well-coordinated. The author of Unaccountable and the lead researcher on that amazing study, Dr. Marty McCary, Johns Hopkins. Thank you.